Hello again and thank you for tuning in to another Henco video. In today's video we are going to review water jet abrasives from the types of abrasives to the various mess sizes and an overview of what makes a good water jet abrasive. Alright let's jump right in and talk about the various types of abrasives. Abrasives are defined as any substance causing damage, wear, or removal of a surface material by grinding or rubbing. Generally speaking there are two types of abrasives natural and manufactured. Within each of these types are a wide range of abrasives. In the early years of abrasive water jet cutting, almost every natural and synthetic type of material were tested for cut speed, edge finish, and wear and tear in components. The abrasive that yielded the best result across all three categories was garnet, specifically almondine garnet. Almondine, also known as almondite, is a species of natural mineral belonging to the garnet group. It is the right combination of hardness, density, toughness, and particle shape in the garnet that maximizes a water jet's capabilities. There are two grades of almondine garnet. The first is alluvial and the second is called hard rock, better described as crushed rock. Alluvial refers to abrasives which have been carried by water and deposited on or near beaches. Alluvial garnet has somewhat smooth edges. The largest deposits of alluvial garnet exist in Australia, South Africa, and India. Crushed garnet, on the other hand, refers to garnet that has been mined from the earth. The abrasive is embedded inside of various areas of rock as seen in this picture. The garnet is separated from the host rock and the garnet is then crushed into various particle sizes. The crushing process yields a greater number of flat surfaces and edges than the alluvial. Alright, let's cut to the point. Alluvial garnet is up to 50% less expensive than hard rock due to the processing expenses of the crushed rock. However, hard rock can yield up to 10-15% to faster cutting speeds due to the unique geometry of the garnet. It actually gets entrained in the jet and is sped up quicker. All right, let's keep moving. Next, let's discuss the various mesh sizes of abrasive used in abrasive water jet cutting today. Mesh refers to the measurement of particle size of a granular material. Mesh size is defined as the number of openings in one square inch of screen allowing for various size particles to pass. Most water jet abrasive suppliers offer hard rock and alluvial garnets in mesh sizes ranging from 50 to 220. Here's an important note. Today, most suppliers of water jet abrasives have engineered blends. These blends are designed to yield best cutting outcomes based on knowledge of mesh sizes used for various cutting applications. For example, 80 grit alluvial is by far the most popular product used in abrasive water jet cutting today. 80 grit is actually by name only, when in fact, the 80 blend contains mesh sizes ranging from 50 to 100 with various distributions of each. Henco proudly recommends GMA abrasives. GMA Garnet Group is the trusted global leader in industrial garnet and has been providing the highest quality garnet abrasives to the water jet cutting industry for over 35 years. Which leads us to our final discussion point. What makes a good water jet abrasive versus standard abrasives available for industry? One of the major differences is the engineered blends. To give you an example, GMA offers seven different engineered blends ranging from a crushed rock 50 to an alluvial 220 grit. They offer a garnet to optimize cutting at any pressure for any material and thickness. Beyond just the custom blends, the next most important thing is how garnet is processed. GMA has world-class production capabilities that ensure, one, every batch of garnet contains accurate size grains of the purest almondine garnet. Second, the washed garnet ensures no dust or ineffective fine grains restrict or cause issues in the water jet cutting process. A great way to test garnet quality in your shop, other than cutting of course, is to add about a half a cup of abrasive into a water bottle. Good water jet abrasive will settle to the bottom of the bottle fast and the water on top will be clean and clear. Garnet is heavy and should settle quickly. If you have garnet on the bottom with cloudy water on top, you know your garnet has more than just garnet in it. 
the floating or suspended media is not an abrasive material and will not assist in the cutting process. In fact, these materials can hinder in the cutting process in the form of clogging of nozzles. All right, that wraps up for abrasive, and thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video provides a proper overview of abrasive for water jet cutting. As always, if you have more questions, please feel free to contact one of our water jet specialists, or feel free to contact one of the garnet specialists at GMA.